Hey, Presby family, Pastor Andrew here today. I hope that you are doing well. I wanted to bring some of God's word to you this afternoon. Our passage for today is one that's familiar to many of you. This is Psalm chapter 46. This is the passage that the kids and many other families from our congregation are going through and memorizing and learning hand motions to. Uh, sadly, I haven't been memorizing all of those hand motions, so I won't be including that in the devotional for today. You can count yourself fortunate, perhaps, because of that, but yet the words are important. Speaking of the chaos in our world, but the fact that God is our fortress, our shelter. Right now, I'm speaking to you from the WEPC Youth Room. Uh, some of you perhaps have never set foot down here. It's a great place where great things happen, one of the things that you may not know about this space is that it actually is an emergency shelter. Right now, I am underground and I am surrounded by concrete. If there's some kind of a tornado coming through the area, right here is where I would want to be because it is a safe place. It is a shelter. And that's what Psalm 46 tells us about who God is and how he offers us peace and hope in times of turmoil. In this psalm, the psalmist says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. And after saying that important truth, he goes on to talk about the circumstances that might cause us to experience trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. He's using very vivid, animated, expressive language to talk about even if all of these terrible things were to happen, we still have no reason to fear. And then um, the version I'm using includes the word Selah after that. Depending on the translation you have, it may include that or it may leave that out. But Selah was, was a note that at this point in the corporate worship, a reverent pause is to take place, a pause, a time of stillness, a time to stop and think about the words that have just been said. And so the psalmist inv invites us to pause and ponder the fact that God gives us peace no matter what is happening around us. And then the psalmist switch gears. He talks about the peace of God's holy city, the peace that we experience whenever we're in God's presence. Verse 4 and following, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Again, we see the contrast between the chaos happening outside, and the stillness within. And so while we don't experience living in a physical city of God right now, we can still know this stillness because wherever we are, wherever the church is, God is with us. And there's an element of that holy city present with his people. And then again, the psalmist says, Selah, pause, marinate in these truths. Think about this reality. And then verse 8 continues, saying, Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought on the earth. Speaking of God's sovereignty, the fact that he is present, the fact that he is control, in control even in times of desolation. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. And then verse 10 tells us, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And on a closing note, the psalmist says, the Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. And then again, Selah, stop, think about this, soak in these truths. People of God, as you know, there is so much going on in our world right now. So much turmoil, so much division. It feels perhaps like the mountains are crumbling into the sea, like maybe the earth is melting and 
the world as we know it is falling apart. Maybe you've gotten used to feeling this way over the course of the last few months. But in spite of the chaos that we see around us, we too can know this inner peace. We can, we can know that the Lord is our refuge, that he is our helper, that we have no reason to fear even when it seems like everything around us is falling apart. Friends, this is one of the ways that we can bring joy to our city because our city, our community, our country, our world is looking for this peace and it can't find it on its own. So let us, friends, be people who know this tranquility, who know how to revel in this river that makes glad the city of God. Let us be a people of gladness and a people of peace who can dispel the fear and the worry and the turmoil from those around us. So, so this week, friends, take time to be still. Put aside the worries and the concerns of your heart. Rest in God's presence. Allow yourself to experience a bit of say law. Be still and know that he is God.